There was once a woman who was loved and admired by everybody in her community. This woman would always go out of her own way to help the poor. But unfortunately, she was married to a man who was really mean and abusive. This man would always come back home drunk and abuse this woman, both verbally and physically. This woman would cry and go on her knees singing the song, Pass me not, O gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry, while on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. She would pray to God, I know you can do all things. I know you can move mountains. I know you can calm the sea. I know you can heal the sick. But all I'm asking is for you to change my husband because he used to be a God-fearing man and he also loved and cared for me so deeply. And I know that that man is still in there somewhere and it's only you who can change him and bring him back. This continued for years and everybody kept telling this woman to leave this man, but she wouldn't. She had faith that God would change him. Lo and behold, one evening, the man was on his way to his drinking spot when he heard music coming from a church nearby. The song really touched his heart because that was a song he used to sing with his mom when he was only a child. And he started walking towards the church. By the time he realized he was in front of the altar crying and singing, I am coming Lord, coming unto thee. Wash me, cleanse me in the blood that flows from Calvary. The man confessed his sins and gave his life to God. He then ran back home crying and apologized to his wife for all the wrong he had done. The wife was filled with joy and excitement that finally God had answered her prayers. The next morning, the man woke up singing the same song, I am coming Lord, coming unto thee, Wash me, cleanse me in the blood that flows from Calvary. He then kissed his wife goodbye and went to work. After what seemed like half an hour, the wife heard a knock on the door. When she opened the door, she was surprised to see two cops standing in front of the house. They told this woman that the man was involved in a serious accident and he died on the spot. But this woman did something very unexpected. She smiled and said, thank you, God. Even though my husband has lost his life, I know that you have saved his soul. And someday we shall meet again in heaven. Dear friends, I want to ask you, if you die today, where are you going to spend eternity? Are you going to spend it in hell or heaven? Are you a true believer or just a church goer? I think many of us may not go to heaven, not because we don't know God, not because we don't love God, not because we don't go to church, but because we love the world more than we love God. Because we just go to church, but we don't practice what we preach. We just take the word of God and twist it to suit our lifestyle, instead of changing our lifestyle to suit the word of God. Beloved, I want you to repent because the kingdom of God is at hand. God loves you so much. That's why he sent his one and only begotten son to come and die on the cross that you may not perish, but have everlasting life. So give your life to Jesus before it's too late. Also, I want you to know that all of us have a friend or a family member who may seem to be lost in sin, who may seem not to listen to any advice that we give him. But I don't want you to give up on him. I want you to keep praying for them. I want you to keep loving them. I want you to keep caring for them because you can't change him. Only God can change him. Only God can save him. So don't give up on him because God has not given up on any of us. Shalom. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. And let's make this world a better place. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Click C first so that you don't miss a beat. Stay blessed.